Hey, I'm Craig Tomlin with UsefulUsability.com. Thanks for watching. I want to talk to you today about a pretty cool topic. It's something that was huge at South by Southwest this year, and that was AR and VR. Okay, so what is AR and what is VR? AR is augmented reality. It's where, for example, if you've seen Google Glass, you'll have uh, glasses, you'll be able to see the real world around you, but you'll also be able to see data put on top of that real world. Um, think about in Google Glass as an example, the ability to have these glasses on, you're seeing the road and there's information about uh, maybe driving directions or you know, a really nice place to have coffee. Um, arrow sign, right? Starbucks or whatever. <laughs> so that's uh, augmented reality. Virtual reality is something that was all over South By this year, and that is where you take a headset, you put the headset on, and it puts you into a 360 degree virtual world. So you are not seeing anything in the real world, you're inside a virtual world. And then you wear uh, headphones in order to be able to hear it's a very impressive experience, obviously good for gaming, uh, probably good for quite a few other things in the educational space, the medical space, uh, and absolutely could be a very cool way to watch movies in the future. Um, being inside the movie, wherever you turn your head, and you saw a lot of people turning head at South by Southwest, you were looking at different elements because, again, you were in the entire world. So... The goggles know that if you're looking to the right, you're seeing things down that way. If you're looking to the left, you're seeing things down that way. Here's a couple examples I want to show you um, specific to VR, what's going on, and all the vendors out there. So here's some video clips that I shot from South by Southwest showing you all the activity around VR. Take a look. So what's interesting in, with this one is they have uh, monitors connected to everybody's fingers and you can actually see their heart rate and uh, related ergonomics up there. So this is a common sight here at the conference this year, somebody wearing some VR goggles. This one happens to be for NASA brand name we all know. Not quite sure what's going on there, but apparently <laughs> quite interesting. Okay, so lots of activity, right? Lots of uh, impressive activity in the VR space, and I think we're going to see a lot more activity there three things need to happen. Number one, those headsets uh, need to get a little bit less kludgy. They are not very easy to wear. They're, they're kind of cumbersome. I have glasses, uh, you know, reading glasses, so when you put the glasses on, uh, putting that headset around the glasses um, makes for a difficult experience. The second thing is uh, the cost, right? So the cost needs to come down. Right now they're fairly expensive. I'm not too worried about that. If you look back, for example, at what a, a high-def TV used to be, they used to be $10,000. Now you can buy one for just a few hundred dollars. So I'm pretty sure the cost of the VR technology will come down. And the third thing is the programming and the content, right? So you need to have some sort of virtual 3D worlds to interact in and, and be part of. Not everybody's a gamer, so there's got to be something more than gaming um, or a, a travel, uh, um, which by the way could be very cool. Um, you could actually go visit uh, different places around the world and, and almost be there. But there needs to be more than that. There needs to be a lot more than that. So. What the future will look like, I don't know. Maybe there will be movies, and instead of us going to a movie theater, we'll just put on the, the uh, glasses and, the, and the, the headset, and boom, away we go with being inside a movie, and, and maybe that's how we'll consume movies in the future. But those three things need to happen before this takes off. Very cool stuff. But if I had to pick one, I think the way that user experience in the future will end up going is going down the path of AR, augmented reality. And the reason for that is it allows us to control um, the outside environment with additional information and data. 
It also, if done the right way, and we talked about this in the last video um, in terms of the interface, it allows an interface design where you really don't need a keyboard, you don't need a mouse, you don't need a monitor anymore. Anywhere where you happen to be can be your keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor. So AR, which is augmented reality, has the ability to, I think, really be the future of user experience and how we interact uh, in terms of the human computer interface. So that's it for me. I'm pretty excited about the potential here. I think that there is huge opportunity, uh, especially in the AR space, virtual reality space, the VR space, I'm not too sure about. But I think the AR space is really going to be the way that we interact with our systems and uh, computers in the future. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, I don't know. Stay tuned. We'll have to find out. So thanks for watching. I'm Craig Tomlin with Useful Usability, and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video blog.